Okay, we are at uh, what's the name of the place? <laughs> we don't know the name of the the kind of brewery. Peklo. This is a uh, seven hundred year old restaurant, restaurant cave. brewery cave. You really can't see anything. And they're selling me a beer called Plaster. Right, Plaster. Uh, yeah, Plaster. It's a, it's a month. Dark. Mm -hmm. Dark light. And you're drinking. Mm -hmm. Can't see much um, because we're in a cave. Uh, kind of see if I can show. If you can see. And uh, so, Jihei is going to, she okay, wants to... We're making this video because I want to remember the flavor of this beer because it's very unique. Blueberry cake from beer, but it doesn't have any sweetness. Like, um, it tastes like, um, first, when you smell it, it mm. smells like a really oh. fine blueberry gelato. Mm. And you have a first sip. It tastes, like tastes like cold. <laughs> cold. Yeah. Tastes like beer. It has a, a little bit of blueberry flavor. Mm. But the interesting thing is, it's not sweet at mm. all, like other artificial uh, fruit flavor beer mm. in Europe. Mm. You can have lots of t different type of uh, fruit flavored beer here. Um, but this what other fruits? Um, cherry, pear, apple. Apple is pretty common. Mm. And cherry is surprisingly common. Yeah, cherry beer and cherry is yeah, cool. I had a cherry dark beer yeah. in the Budapest. That was yeah. amazing. Yeah. Um, but this is absolutely unique mm. and different from all those flavors. What makes it unique? You haven't said anything yet that makes it particularly unique. What What is the unique quality it you are It's like sweet. It's not it's sweet. Just a, it's just like a beer taste. Or a fruit flavor. But it has a flavor of... Uh, blueberry. Mm. You can smell it. So it's a more authentic or genuine, unartificial. Yeah, it doesn't seem like they just add up the uh, artificial flavor to make to make it taste like a fruit. Fruit. But it's, it's more like they're using the uh, uh, yeah fruit to make beer mm. instead of using. Maybe people are using a you know, different type of um, grain, like barley or wheat. Um, they're using the blueberry in the first place, and I have no idea how they make it, but I feel like they didn't add up just the flavor after they making beer. So, is there anything else? This is well combined. Anything more specific or precise that you could add in Korean that, that you would use to describe? No, my English is too good, so I think I told this. <laughs> Look at you. That's no, that was a, a, a look of recognition of the truth. <clears throat> well, <laughs> Masha so for all you English listeners, Masha so it's a difficult word. It means delicious. It's Good. almost almost as insightful and enlightened as her cold description before. So we'll go with English, cold, Korean. Delicious. So this beer is cold and delicious, which is unlike any other beer that's been in a fridge for quite a while. Anything else you'd like to add, connoisseur? Shinsaneng. <laughs> Fresh? Shinsaneng. Uh, so it's cold, delicious, and fresh. Um, it might sound like buying a can of MGD out of the fridge at your local fish and bait shop. But it's actually a blueberry flavor, monastic, locally on site brewed beer at a Dad, cave, restaurant, here. bar, uh, 700, 7th century old that was favored by King Charles IV of the Habsburg Empire. Oh, wow. Or the Holy Roman Empire. One of the, that would be the Holy Roman Empire. Wow. Too far back. Anyways, as King Charles IV would say, Damn. Delicious. Delicious 
cold and fresh. So spoken like one royalty to another. Huh? So the king and queen have spoken, make more of this beer. <laughs> We're signing off to drink more of this beer. Ciao. Ciao.